Hello, and welcome to Black Cloud Travels. My name is Doris. Today we are leaving Homer for Sodatna, and to me, this is a very regrettable thing. We had a great time in Homer, getting to know the lifestyle of an Alaskan fisherman. As we drove up and down the coast, I was very surprised to see tsunami warning signs. Now, one might think that tsunamis are very, very rare. Yes, they are. However, historically, it is well known that Alaska does indeed have earthquakes. And what happens after an earthquake? A tsunami. And it doesn't take much to realize that on the Homer spit, if anything happens, there's nothing you can do. So here we are driving through Tomer, and it's a city like any other. It has a shopping mall, it has a McDonald's, it has a laundromat, which is exactly where we're headed. So here is the laundromat, and it was a very nice laundromat, big and clean. However, it was also very expensive. It cost $5.50 to do a load. That's 22 quarters for a load and we did four loads that was 88 quarters that we dropped into the laundromat machines and that didn't even include the dryers 88 quarters an hour great Scott there was also an excellent little coffee bar there we could buy a cappuccino or an espresso and you could even have a shower there for $10 So now we're getting into some pictures and there you see our camper in the background. Not much of a view, but it does get better from here. Now, although we did arrive here quite early in the morning, about 9, 9.30, all the spots along the coast were taken. So we took something actually just as good. We have found a spot next to the camping ranger's tent, which means we were able to park sideways and look out at the coast from our kitchen window. And the beauty of it was that the camper's tent was low and did not obstruct our view. One more thing I'd like to point out is that the campsites that were along the shore were significantly colder 
than where we were. It was a very strong wind that blew there most of the time. In fact, we saw someone hosting a bridal shower on one of the evenings we were there, and it was really cold. I don't know how they sat there, but I guess this is uh, what you're used to when you live in Alaska. So here we have Frank standing in front of the ranger's tent, and the ranger's job was to go around, collect the money, take care of the grounds, and at night he did not stay in the tent. He actually stayed in his van. And he only was there maybe six, seven hours and gone the rest of the day. A very busy man, no doubt. Now allow me to try and explain to you how those that are parked along the water can only look at the coast if they're sitting in their front seats. Whereas we, who are parked alongside, can view the coast out of our kitchen window. And I was pretty thrilled with that. Also, I was anxious to see if it was possible to swim here. Wouldn't that be a thrill? So here we have a nice shot of Frank walking Bob towards the shore. And uh, I did not see anybody else venturing out for a swim, only fishermen wrapped up in coats. So obviously it would be too cold to swim there. However, Bob, my dog, did get a chance to dip his toes into the Pacific Ocean. So here was the best shot I could get of a panoramic view of the area we were in. And another shot. I just can't get over that uh, it's devoid of people. Here we've got a separate little body of water, a fishing hole, and if you look really, really close, you can see that there is an otter swimming in there, and that was a real delight. And we would see a lot of otters in the days ahead. This area served as both a place to clean your fish and or to have a picnic. Very nice view, very well taken care of. And here we have some footage that Frank caught and again, it looks really busy with all the campers and trailers and trucks that you see there. But again, I'm really amazed that for all the traffic that you see parked there, you hardly see anybody around. And so as Frank and I leave Homer and head for Soldata, we'll leave it here. And we hope you join us again on Black Cloud Travels. See you next time.